right. Those cookies smell scrumptious, Samantha. Oh, thank you, Bertha. <laughs> you must give me the recipe. Bertha won the pie baking contest at the fair this year, didn't you, Bertha? Well, it was my turn. Now, who would like milk with their tea? You've done enough, dear. You come right over here and sit down. We'll take care of it ourselves. <laughs> Zolder Plankin Kopeck Lum. Zolder Plankin Kopeck Lum. I'm trying to give it up. She certainly should. You know, I worry about that woman every time she steps out of the house. She's getting on, you know, and she's... Well, let's be frank, she's gone a little funny. And stubborn. I offered to pick her up, but no, she insisted on flying by herself. <laughs> Have either of you flown with Clara lately? Not lately. Suicide. <laughs> Plain suicide. Uh, there's someone at your front door, dear. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> Excuse me. Endora told me that since the marriage, she doesn't even do little things anymore. Oh, my stars, Aunt Clara, what happened? Well, I got the spell all wrong, and I, I got all mixed in the spell, and I got landed in the f middle of the freeway. <laughs> oh, good gracious. Well, here, we'll just get you straightened out. And everything. Come on in. Now, oh, you look lovely. Yeah, we'll really? dust you off a little bit. Now, come on. Oh, hello. Hello, Clara. Happy birthday. Now, now you down. sit down, Aunt Clara. Oh, oh, yeah. I'll pour you a nice cup of tea. Oh, no, no, no. I can do that myself. Uh, well, I'm not as old as all that, you know. I mean, <laughs> well, um, well, now, let, let me see. Now, let me see. Uh, Zolder. Uh, Pranken. Kopeck. Uh, uh, I know, dear. Fly by. I know. I know. I know. Uh, 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 Long. <laughs> Clara, in the future, will you please ask? Well, I didn't want any tea anyway. <laughs> and my powers are just as good as ever, so don't get pernickety with me. It's, it's just that at this time of year, I, I, the, the, you know, it sends me all throwy. <laughs> I hate Halloween. I hate Halloween. Well? They're very good. Good? Why, they're the best Halloween candies our company's ever put out on the market. Here, try some more. Well, I haven't finished with what I have. Go on, go on. <laughs> now, what we wanted was a special campaign devised to run through the entire Halloween season, right? Mm. <laughs> nice and chewy, aren't they? <laughs> now, of course, the first thing we needed was a highly identifiable trademark, right? I'm sure I can come up with something for you, Mr. Brinkman. You don't have to come up with a thing. I know exactly what I want. <laughs> I puzzled over it for days, let me tell you. And then suddenly, the answer came to me just like that. You ready? 
A witch. <laughs> A witch. Well, that certainly ties in with the product. <laughs> it's not the broomsticks I mind so much. It's the way they make us look. Those ugly, horrid warts and those long, crooked noses. <laughs> I guess they just don't realize that we're like anybody else. Almost. Up to now, we've been able to do nothing. But I can't take another year of this. Now, that's why we came to see you, Samantha. We thought you might have some ideas. We tried, and Dora, but she's not interested in the cause at all. Oh, I know. Mother flies to the south of France every year this time till it all blows over. She thinks we should just try and forget it. I can't forget it. Every time I see a picture of one of those ugly old crones, I fly right home and cry myself to sleep. An ugly old crone, eh? With, with a long nose. I mean long. And then warts on her chin, eh? And, and, and broken teeth. A, a lot of broken... Uh, a whole mouthful of broken teeth. Eh? And a, a tall black hat, eh? And, and a broomstick. <laughs> Can I see some uh, rough sketches tomorrow? Eh? Well, I'll get to work on that right away. I don't know why we don't simply tell everyone that we're witches. And then they'd see what wonderful, nice people we really are. <laughs> you better take out lots of fire insurance first. <laughs> oh, Bertha, they stopped burning us years ago. We have made some progress. Well, not enough. I personally think it all begins with the children. Someone ought to rewrite those fairy tales. Well, you know, show Hansel and Gretel for what they really are. A couple of pushy kids going around eating sweet old ladies' houses. <laughs> I think this is the silliest thing I've ever heard of. Have you got any better ideas? Uh, wait a minute. Darren might have an idea. A mortal? Oh, I don't think so, Samantha. Mortals don't seem to know how to do anything too well. Darren's a very good advertising man, and he's familiar with our problem. Uh, but do you think he's interested enough to do anything about it? I'm sure he'd be glad to help us. I think that's a crackerjack notion right up at the time. I'll talk to him as soon as he gets home. He'll probably have some wonderful ideas. home early. Perhaps it'd be better if I spoke to him alone. Well, we've stayed much too long anyway, dear. Do you really think he'll be able to help us? I'm sure of it. Well, do keep in touch and let us know. Oh, I will. Thanks for the tea, dear. We'll just slip out this way. We had a lovely time. Goodbye. <laughs> I better be running along too, you know. <laughs> Certainly, Aunt Claire. Now, anything you need, let me know. Oh, yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh, goodbye. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Fine, fine. What went wrong? Maybe you didn't concentrate. Oh, could be, you know. Oh, no, I have Clara here. I have a marvelous idea. Why don't you go out the back and through the kitchen door? Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe that would be the best way to do it. These walls are getting harder and harder. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. You expecting rain? Oh, no, no, just straightening up. How was your day? Uh, grim. Sweetheart, there's something very important I'd like to ask your advice about. Sure, honey, just as soon as I put some finishing touches on these sketches. Do you have a bicarbonate handy? Did you eat something that disagreed with you? You could say that. <laughs> sure, I'll get you one. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. You look tired. Oh, I'm almost finished. What is it you wanted to talk to me about? Well, Darren, I need some professional advice. I was thinking this afternoon that just about this time of year, somebody should... <laughs> What's that? It's a Halloween witch for a billboard. You're going to use that picture? Well, it's not quite finished yet. I thought I'd put another wart here. <laughs> Darren, how could you? You, of all people, you should know better. That's the kind of thing we're trying to fight. What are you talking about? That picture, it's offensive. 
Offensive? Is that how you think I look? Will you calm down, well, Sam? Well, do you? Of course not. Then why did you do it? Because that's the way most people think witches look. Is that any reason to discriminate against a minority group? What minority group? Witches, of course. <laughs> Sam, people don't believe in witches. What's that got to do with anything? How can you discriminate against something you don't know exists? Don't split hairs. <laughs> Sweetheart, if you realized how ridiculous you said... Where are you going? I'm going to hang by my feet from a beam in the attic and cackle at the moon. What's the matter with you? Are you serious about this? Of course I am. How would you like it if you were always being represented as something different? Well, let's face it, darling, you are a little different. Darren, please. <laughs> what did I say? You're prejudiced. Prejudiced? Mother was right. If I was prejudiced, I wouldn't have married you, would I? Oh, so that's it. You think you did me a big favor. Took the poor little witch in. Quite a sacrifice. Must make you feel very self-righteous, is that it? I may get very sick. Anyone as bigoted as you deserves it. I am not bigoted. Witches have feelings just the same as anyone else. When we see those little children running around on Halloween with blacked out teeth and warts, well, don't you understand? It hurts. Does it really mean that much to you, Sam? Of course it does. I remember when I was a child, Mother and I used to leave the country so you wouldn't have to look at those ugly masks. It was horrible. <laughs> I knew you'd understand. I understand perfectly, darling. I just hope Brinkman does. I'm telling you, that's not what I want. I want an old crone with blacked out teeth. And she and she got warts on on. Mr. Not... Brinkman, please listen, listen to me. Listen to me for just a minute. Now everyone uses the traditional Halloween witch. But who's to say that they really look like that? Now, my idea is to get away from the old stereotype and use a beautiful, well-dressed witch as your trademark. You're nuts. <laughs> Which has got long noses and blacked out teeth. Will you stop warm. saying that? You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, uh, look here, fella. I don't like being insulted. Neither do witches. They've got feelings, too. <laughs> you're afraid of offending a witch? Well, if I were a witch, I'd be offended. Wouldn't you, Mr. Brinkman? <laughs> I mean, if... Uh, you said that I look like that, I... Mr. Brinkman, supposing there really were witches, and there is no absolute proof that there aren't, can you imagine how they would feel to have their image distorted? <laughs> trouble. Say to him what you just said to me. I was just trying to convince Mr. Brinkman to use a beautiful woman in the campaign. No, 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 no. The, the other thing, the other thing. Go on, go on. Well, I was just putting forth the theory that uh, witches might exist. Witches? You hear that? Oh, you mean with long noses, blacked out teeth and warts? No, of course not. They'd probably look more like... Uh, <laughs> Glinda. Who? Oh. Well, Glinda. The good witch of the north from the Wizard of Oz. Oh, she's gorgeous. The uh, good witch of the north. He doesn't want to hurt her feelings. I'm merely suggesting a more sophisticated campaign, something with a bit more imagination. Uh, Darren, you do understand exactly what Mr. Brinkman wants, don't you? You should. I told him a thousand times. Well, it's a simple little breakdown of communication. Somewhere along the line, you'll have your sketches, Mr. Brinkman. How about it, Darren? Put someone else in the account, Larry. What? Darren, I see no reason why there should be this sort of a problem. That seems to me to be a fairly simple campaign. Very simple from Mr. Brinkman's point of view. What's wrong with the way I see it? Nothing at all from your point of view. I just think that it should have a little more sophistication, a little more imagination. Darren, you're being unnecessarily willful and stubborn. I'm being honest. <laughs>
Who made you an authority on witches? Nobody! <laughs> but... <laughs> well... What's so great about warts? <laughs> Honey, did they call? No, they didn't call. Oh. Maybe you should call Mr. Brinkman and apologize. You know I can't do that. Not even for me? For you? Darling, I can't go on like this. I've been feeling guilty ever since you walked out on Larry Tate yesterday. Why should you feel guilty? Because if you weren't married to me, you wouldn't have lost your job. And subconsciously, all our lives, you're going to hold it against me. I've told you this has nothing to do with you, Samantha. You get out of here and let me do these pills, huh? Darren? Hmm? I have an idea. What? Mr. Brinkman wouldn't care what sort of a campaign he had as long as he sold his candies, right? Hmm. Well, suppose somehow all the other candy companies went out of business, and I... Will you stop <laughs> that? You've gotten me in enough trouble as it is. You see? You do hold it against me. <laughs> <laughs> Samantha! Bertha, I have to talk to you. <laughs> We're here, Samantha. Are you all right, Clara? Yes, yes, of course I am. Yes. No, let me go. I can stand by myself. <laughs> I'm sorry to get you up at this hour of the night, but it's very important. We know, dear, we feel terrible about what's happened. It's all our fault that your young man has lost his job. Now, what can we do to help? Well, now, you must understand, Darren is very proud. And unless he's asked to go back, he won't go back. It's a matter of principle and integrity. Two excellent reasons. Bertha could make a telephone call. She's wonderful at voice imitations. <laughs> no, no, what I was thinking of was a way to make Mr. Brinkman change his mind about the campaign. That way, we'd be helping Darren and ourselves at the same time. Wonderful. Now, what's the idea? I thought we could start with a protest march. That's very good. And non-violent. We could have signs. Signs? Oh, that's an excellent idea. How about... <laughs> very much to the point. Now, let's see. Um, how about this one? <laughs> one? I know one, too. I think that looks clear exactly how we feel. And if this doesn't have any effect, I have a few more ideas we can discuss on the way to Mr. Brinkman's. Good. They're coming, Clara? Clara! <laughs> oh, I was just mentally counting my, uh, my uh, doorknobs. <laughs> You'll need a sign. Uh, a sign? Oh, 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 a sign. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's the best I could do. Shall we go? <laughs> what are you doing up there? Just read the signs, Mr. Brinkman. Vote for Bush. These signs, Mr. Brinkman, we're a protest group. Oh. <laughs> we object to the advertising campaign that you plan depicting us as old crones. We find it distasteful and insulting. I, I don't care what you find it. What business is it of yours anyway? Why, it's very much our business, Mr. Brinkman. We're witches. Oh, you're witches, are you? We certainly are. Now, look, you, you come on down here off my lamp, and uh, the rest of you come on down here, too. You hear me? Don't you believe us, Mr. Brinkman? I'll tell you what I believe. I believe you'd all better get out of here before you're thrown out. 
He doesn't believe us. Well, I guess we'll just have to convince him. Already? Together? Clara, what are you doing? Oh, I was just looking at this doorknob. <laughs> How do you get it so brilliant? Huh? <laughs> Stick to business, Clara. Now come up here and sit down. Do you keep your shirt on? <laughs> All right, I've had enough of this. Maybe the police will have something to... <laughs> <laughs> Still don't believe in witches, Mr. Brinkman? It's, it's that rich food. It's all that rich food I ate. I should never eat French cooking, that's all. My stomach just won't take it. I'll... Criticizing French cooking. Cigarette? Blindfold? Well, why would I need a blindfold? I... I... Ready? Oh, please, don't shoot me, don't. Um... I do believe in witches. I do, I do, I do believe in witches. You shot me. I'm dead. I told you I believed you, but you killed me anyway. It's not fair. Oh, nothing of the sort. You're perfectly all right. I'm all right? Practically. What do you mean practically? Take a look in the mirror. <laughs> What did you do to me? The same thing you did to us. I never did anything to you. Old crones, you said, with long hooked noses and blacked out teeth and warts. How'd you like to go through life looking like that, Mr. Brinkman? You wouldn't leave me like this. Of course not. We want the world to know you as you really are. Now, you do the same for us, won't you, Mr. Brinkman? Oh, I promise. <laughs> I promise. Good. You can look again. I finally saw my point of view, Mr. Brinkman. I know you won't be sorry. Mr. Brinkman? Huh? Oh, oh, uh, oh, sure, sure, that's, uh, sure. Uh, would you like me to go over the details of the campaign, Mr. Brinkman? Huh? The details? Oh, oh, no. No, you, uh, do everything I, I, I have to go to the police station. What for? I was robbed. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Mr. Brinkman. Uh, it's all right. All they took were doorknobs. <laughs> A hundred and five of them. <laughs> Every doorknob in the house. Morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, I'll see you again. Hello, Larry. Well, couldn't be. <laughs> oh, I'll admit I was skeptical right up until the time Brinkman confirmed our research reports. Mothers and children don't buy Halloween candy. Fathers do. And that gorgeous witch on the billboard has kicked Brinkman sales up 27%. Darren, your instinct was absolutely right. Thank you. Well, of course it was. He's the best advertising man in the business. Oh, thank you both for them kind words. Uh, come on, Darren, tell me, where'd you get the idea for that campaign? Well, uh... it was intuition. And that's something you can't buy. You either have it or you haven't, wouldn't you say? I sure would. And I'd like to propose a toast. To Darren's intuition, wherever it comes from, may he never lose it. I'll drink to that. <laughs> me too. <laughs>
I should have traveled by bus. Are you oh. all right? You know, I think I've been putting on weight. I used to come down through a chimney as clean as a whistle. <laughs> I, I come on know. over here and sit down. Over here. All right. Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh, it's so nice to see you again. Oh, it is nice to see you too, dear. Oh, well, we have a lovely weekend together. A w weekend? Doorknobs are all very well, but they're not family. <laughs> I count them when I'm lonely. But somehow, you know, today they didn't seem to do the trick. And then I remembered the lovely invitation you gave me to come here whenever I wanted to. I see. Now, where's that nice mortal you're married to? Darren went to pick up his parents. They're spending the weekend, too. Oh? Oh, I've picked a bad time for a visit. Uh, well, never mind. I'll leave before they arrive. No, you won't. Now, I haven't met Darren's parents. It'd be kind of nice to have you around for moral support. Oh. Besides, we have plenty of room. Now, are you sure I won't be in the way? Of course not. And I'd like them to meet my favorite aunt. Oh, oh you are a nice girl. Now, why don't I show you to your room? And you can get cleaned up and rest before you have to meet Darren and his parents. No, oh, I, I think I'll wait for my bag and umbrella. They weren't ready and packed when I wanted to go, so I just left them there. <laughs> Teach them a lesson. <laughs> She hasn't let him lose weight. He can't afford to lose weight. Oh, he's probably in the last stages of malnutrition. Oh, now you know that isn't what I meant. Oh, there he is. Oh, Darren. Oh, Darren. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh Here come the waterworks. Three months away, and it's like he's back from the grave. Well, it's too long for a son to be away from his mother. Much too long. Marriage obviously agrees with you, boy. I've never seen you look better. Have you, Phyllis? Oh, he looks terrible. How can you say he looks well? He looks terrible. <laughs> Have you been eating the right foods, Darren? Well, I feel great, Mom, honestly. Never mind. I'll fatten you up with some good home cooking in a couple of days. Meet my wife, the diplomat. <laughs> what did I say wrong? <laughs> There's our luggage. Sam's a pretty good cook, too, Mom. Sam? Samantha. Oh, Samantha. Oh, I'm sure she is, dear. And you know I'd cut off my right arm rather than interfere. I just thought I'd give her a few tips, though. Can she make chicken cacciatore? No, Mom. No one can make chicken cacciatore the way you can. Oh, <laughs> oh it's nice that there's something you need your mother for. Uh, let's go. I'm anxious to meet this bride of yours, Dan. I'll bet she's something really special. Pop you win your bet. Oh, oh, there you are. I told you I wouldn't wait for you. Well, don't stand there like that. Come in, come in, come in. <laughs> now, your room is the second on the left. I'll check dinner and be right up. Oh, oh it smells good. Pot <laughs> roast. I wanted to serve something more exotic, but I thought I ought to stay on safe ground. Exotic? Yes, you know. Beef stroganoff, coco vin, something that would really impress Darren's mother. Oh, now don't you worry, dear. I just know they're going to love you. How can you be so sure? I'm a witch. <laughs> <laughs> 
excited I was when we heard that Darren was married. Fainted four times. <laughs> oh, he's exaggerating as usual. Oh, I will admit that I was surprised, but I'm not one of those mothers who want to keep their children tied to their apron strings. Then why is everything in Darren's room bronzed? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being sentimental. I think it's rather nice. His tennis racket? <laughs> Now, why don't you two men leave us alone so that I can get acquainted with my daughter-in-law? Come on, Pop. I'll show you your room. All right. You treat her well now, Phyllis. I like this girl. <laughs> now we can talk. I just wanted you to know that you don't have to worry about me being one of those interfering mother-in-laws. <laughs> why? Why, cut off my right arm first. Well, I wouldn't want you to do that. Of course, if you, um... If you do need any help, I'm always available. That's nice to know. Well, I do know a little more about Darren's habits than you. So if there's uh, anything you want to know, anything at all, feel free to ask. Uh, Darren tells me you're a good cook. Well, I'm still learning. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, that is, maybe I could give you the recipes for some of his very favorite dishes. Do you know how to make pineapple upside down cake? No, I don't. Then there are his hives. Well, I don't know how to make those either. <laughs> uh, no, no, dear. Uh, that's an allergy. It's a rash he gets. I'll show you how to treat it. Oh, I've cured that. You cured his rash? Oh, yes. We found out he only got it when he ate chicken cacciatore. <laughs> <laughs> My, this is a, this is a lovely room. Did you, um, did you have a decorator? No, I did it myself. Well, it's absolutely lovely. I'll bet you can't wait to get it finished. <laughs> finished? Well, really, all it needs is a few knickknacks to warm it up. Darren is used to that. He always had them at home. Oh, I, I've got more than enough. I'll send you some when I get back. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, uh, Darren, I was just telling Samantha how lovely the room looks. Oh, yes, it does have a nice clean look. I hate a room that's all cluttered up with ornaments. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, we really don't know very much about you, Samantha. What did you do before you married Darren? Well, I uh, traveled a lot. With your family? Sometimes. Do you get to see much of your mother? Oh, she pops in and out. <laughs> and what about the rest of your family? Oh, hello, Aunt Clara. Oh, <laughs> hello, everybody. <laughs> Come on, I want you to meet everybody. Oh. Aunt Clara, this is Mrs. Stevens. <laughs> and Mr. Stevens. How you do? And that is Darren. Oh. Uh, this is an unexpected pleasure. You haven't met Darren before? Uh, well, uh, I've met him, but uh, he hasn't met me. Uh, uh, in the flesh, I mean, so to speak. Aunt Clara's going to spend the weekend with us, too. She is. Uh, I mean, she is. <laughs> Uh, wouldn't you uh, like to see my doorknob collection? <laughs> Why, yes, I... <laughs> I beg your pardon? Aunt Clara collects doorknobs. I have 3,000. Where'd you get them all? I don't remember, but there are a lot of people having a heck of time trying to open their doors. <laughs> 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 uh, Samantha, could I speak to you for a minute? When? Now. Uh, yes. Excuse me. <laughs> Maybe this would be a nice chance for us to have a little chat. Oh, yes. <laughs> Darling, I was just as surprised as you were. I turned around, and there she was sitting in the fireplace. She came down the chimney? Oh, well, darling, you can't blame someone for being old. She used to come through the wall just the same as everybody else. Oh, great. She's really very sweet. I'm sure she is, darling, and I'd love to have her here any other time, but not this weekend. 
My parents are plain, simple folks Darren, who... Darren, Darren, darling, I can't ask her to leave. I couldn't bear to see her hurt. You can understand that, can't you? I suppose so, honey. I know it's inconvenient. But I'm sure your parents will understand. Besides, what possible harm could she do? Yes, I'm a witch. <laughs> uh, all my family are. <laughs> It's sort of a family thing that has been handed down, you know. <laughs> yes. Uh, but the witch game is not like it used to be. <laughs> oh, no. Now, th there was a time when you could uh, cast a spell on someone and they knew it. Not now. <laughs> no, not now. <laughs> well, now, take the Yankees. Oh, uh, the uh, Yankees? Well, they lost two World Series in a row, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you, you put a spell on him, huh? Uh, well, Bertha and me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bertha and you. <laughs> oh, well, I'm... I, I'm so glad you don't mind. Mine? About, uh, Samantha being one. <laughs> <laughs> Samantha's a witch, too, uh. uh yes, yes, but, uh, she's trying to get away from it. Uh, uh bothers Darren. <laughs> Uh, well, I, uh, I think I'll go for a little fresh air. <laughs> Shan't be long. <laughs> I used to go through a wall, whoop, just like butter. <laughs> I think I'll try the front door. <laughs> She's kind of cute, isn't she? What about your sister, Madge? That's not the same thing at all. Madge has a quirk, that's all. Quirk? She thinks she's a lighthouse. <laughs> you call standing on the garage roof when it rains to warn ships at sea a quirk? That woman believes she's a witch. Now, you can't tell me that's normal. Oh, well, Darren isn't married to Clara. And I think Samantha's a perfect wife. Perfect? She can't even make a pineapple upside down cake. What kind of a family has poor Darren married in? Oh, <laughs> Oh, Darren, you think everything's going all right? I don't know what you're so worried about. Pop thinks you're great. Yes, but what about your mother? I'm sure she likes you, too. Obviously, the flight upset her. She's just not herself, that's all. No, I just don't know. I have a funny feeling there's something out of whack. The only thing out of whack is your Aunt Clara. <laughs> well, at least you know where you stand with her. <laughs> well, has Mom said anything? Oh, no, of course not. I know she's trying to be nice. I've done everything I can to please her. Just don't know. I have a funny feeling, that's all. There's something wrong. Hello, Yes. Everything all right? <laughs> yes, everything's ready. Just keep your fingers crossed. Oh, I don't believe in the superstition. <laughs> I just know that everything is going to be perfect. <laughs> oh, dear. I'd better go empty the ashtrays in the living room. Uh, Sam. <laughs> oh, Tara, Tara. Don't goof this up. Oh. Go away, Chicky. Go away. Go away, Chicky. for dessert. Pineapple upside down cake. It'd be just my luck if it came up uh, right side up. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm on a winning streak. <laughs> Please sit down, Mr. Stevens. Oh, fine, sure. Aunt Clara, you make yourself comfortable. Ah, hey, that smells great. What is it? Pot roast. I would like to have served you something, well, more exciting, but cooking really isn't one of my... That's Coco Van. Samantha. Yeah, 
Well, that's what it is, all right. Oh, it looks delicious. I thought you said you couldn't cook. Quite a sense of humor this girl of yours has, dear. Yeah, she keeps me laughing all day. <laughs> How'd you know it was my favorite dish? Oh, does Mrs. Stevens cook it for you? Cook it? She can't even pronounce it. She must be a great cook. Uh, oh, you wait until you see the dessert she swept up for you. What is it, Samantha? Maybe it should be a surprise. <laughs> Pineapple upside down cake. <laughs> well, Phyllis, I guess you can stop worrying now, huh? Our boy couldn't be in better hands. What's the matter? I have a sick headache. <laughs> You've been at it again, have Shh. They'll hear you. Zap, Coca Van. <laughs> well, pineapple upside down cake. You didn't make that food. You promised me no witchcraft. You said you were just going to be yourself, but you didn't. Well, who did? I would say your prime suspect is Aunt Clara. Unless, of course, your mother's holding out on us. What? She isn't a witch, too, is she? Let's leave my mother out of this, huh? No matter what you say, Darren, it was a delicious meal, and she hardly ate a mouthful. Now, what can I do to get her to like me? Sam, let's just solve one problem at a time, huh? I think I'll have a little talk with Aunt Clara after dinner. Now, Darren, if you hurt her feelings, I'll never forgive you. She was only trying to help. Well, I'll just ask her to stop helping. Be tactful. Don't worry. I'll tactfully tell her that the position of house witch is already filled. <laughs> Come in. Oh. Am I disturbing anything, Aunt Clara? Oh, not at all, not at all. No, I'm just polishing my doorknobs. <laughs> well, that must be quite a job, keeping those clean. <laughs> Well, it keeps me out of the pool halls. <laughs> that was quite a dinner you whipped up. Oh, I still know a trick or two. Oh, that's what I wanted to talk to you about, Aunt Clara. You see, my mother and father, they aren't uh, used to um, witchcraft. You see that? Now, to a doorknob collector, that's equivalent to the Hope Darman. <laughs> It's not that we don't appreciate your trying to help. Such a nice sparkle. Yeah, I wouldn't even have brought it up at all, except that well, my mother and father just don't understand. Do you understand what I'm saying, Aunt Clara? Oh, it's nice of you to look at my doorknob collection. Not many young people uh, care about that sort of thing nowadays. Come on, Bag. We must go. <clears throat> did you talk to Aunt Clara? Uh-huh. You didn't upset her, did you? Well, she didn't seem to be upset. Did she understand? I don't know. It's hard to tell with Aunt Clara. I think I'd better go up and see her. I thought I'd give you a hand with the dish. Oh, oh you've already done them. Isn't there anything I can do? Nothing at all, Mom. Sam's done it all. Oh, uh, you should get the good housekeeping seal of approval, Samantha. Thank you. I'll be right back. Darren, are you happy? What? Of course, Mom. Now, if there's anything you want to tell me about, I'm always here. I've never been happier in my life. Any problem at all, no matter how large or how small. Just because you're married doesn't mean you still can't come to your mother. Mom, I don't have any problems. Well, that's all right. If you don't want to tell me about it, that's fine with me. You know, I cut off my right Fellas, arm before Fellas, will you I... leave the boy alone? Well, now, hasn't a mother the right to ask if her son is happy? Well, who wouldn't be happy, married to a dream like Samantha? Oh, she's a lovely girl, all right. Well, then why have you been trying to find fault with her ever since we arrived? That's not true. I mean, what do you want? Aren't you? She's beautiful, she's talented. 
She's even tempered, and she's a great cook. I agree. Well, then there's no argument. Then there's no argument. All right. Well, if there's no argument, why are you two yelling at each other? <laughs> what did you do to Aunt Clara? I didn't do anything to Aunt Clara. Well, you must have said something insulting, otherwise she wouldn't have left. Uh, Sam, do we now, have Darren, to? Now, Darren, you promised you'd be tactful. You promised. Do we have to discuss this in front of Mom yes, and Dad? Yes, we do. Now, Aunt Clara's a guest in this house, too. You may not like it, but she's my family. Really, Samantha? There's no need to take it out Shut of Shut up, Darren. Phyllis. <laughs> I told you it's not my fault. She left. Oh, yes, it is. If you hadn't been so annoyed because Aunt Clara made the dinner, none of this ever would have happened. She cooked dinner? Yes, she did. You may as well know it right now. I'm not a very good cook. You're not? <laughs> no, I'm not. I can't make cocoa vin or pineapple upside down cake or any of those fancy dishes. Samantha. It's no use, Darren. I cannot pretend to be something I'm not. And I won't stand here and see Aunt Clara hurt. I don't blame you. What did you say to that nice old lady? <laughs> you be quiet. <laughs> Go on, dear. Well, that's just about it. I wanted you to think that I was the perfect wife for Darren, and Aunt Clara thought she was helping me. The fact is, I'm not very good at housekeeping yet. If you like me any less for that, I'm sorry. But you'll just have to accept me as I am, false and all. Oh, Samantha. You don't know how happy you've made me. <laughs> what are you crying about? Oh, what do you men know about anything? What's going on here? I didn't want you to be perfect, dear. Well, then why did you act as if you did? Because I'm a silly old woman who was afraid she'd be pushed aside and forgotten. And you seemed so self-sufficient and, and so good at everything. I just thought I wouldn't be needed anymore. Do you understand? Yes, I do. I'll go see if I can't find Aunt Clara. Oh, she's at the bus station. How do you know? I asked her umbrella. Good thing. I'll be back in a few minutes. Well, I hope he finds her. <laughs> asked her what? <laughs> Oh, uh, family joke. I just have a hunch she's there. <laughs> well, maybe Aunt Claire's right. You are a witch after all, huh? <laughs> I am. <laughs> but don't spread it around. Oh, <laughs> it'll be our secret. <laughs> Oh, Darren, you don't really think that I bronzed your tennis racket, do you? Yeah, of course not, Mom. I knew Pop was kidding. <laughs> of However, I did bronze your shoes. Your football shoes. We're using them for bookends. <laughs> oh. Hey, how'd you girls like to see a little magic, hmm? Oh, Frank, the heavens. We'll show you a little trick here. Uh, Aunt Clara, yes. take a card out of the deck, huh? Just any card, go on. Take it out of there and, and look at it and put it back in. Don't let me see it oh. now. Oh. oh, Let me see. Mm, all right. You got it? Yep. I right, put it back in now. Oh, anywhere, just anywhere, right? All righty now, let's see. Your card has a, uh... <laughs> it's funny, it's always worked before. You'll find it in your top uh, coat pocket. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. Now, how did you do that? Hey. I'm a witch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, now, I think I'll go for my little constitutional. Do you mind if we walk along with you? Uh, uh walk? Oh, 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 well, that might be nice for a change. <laughs> well, the next time we come, I must bring my sister Madge along. She and Clara would have a ball, wouldn't they, Frank? Oh, dear. They really seem to have hit it off, haven't they? They sure have, and they think you're the greatest. That's nice. Well, it's as I said. All you had to be was yourself. You're right, darling. <laughs> Samantha. You said I should be myself. I take it all back. Maybe my folks aren't ready for the real you yet. 